lovely sculptures. Shame it's so close to the road, but... Everyone. Morning everyone. Well it's morning here yeah. now. Yeah. You're still in bed, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, this video is about us finishing off our time on the on the cat on the dog side. We had a, a great time, didn't yeah, we? we did, yeah. It's really nice. So um, some footage of that. We had 72 hours in Finnegay to uh, sort out a few our bits. <laughs> yeah, a few bits and pieces on the boat and uh, fit in the extra Victron charger etc and then we we're off to do another 240 40 miles. 40 mile passage uh, to where we are now so we'll see you at the end guys enjoy the video This week's video sees us travelling to the very east of the Mediterranean. We make a couple of stop-offs on the way. Cindy visits an amazing citadel. And of course, all good stories have pirates. But of course that's not before we finish our fantastic 10-day charter on a catamaran. Hey look, the salt and salmon. Where? Over in the corner. Oh yeah, Sultan's Hammam. We'll do some of that. We had wanted to visit this small fishing harbour for a couple of days. We didn't think we were going to be able to get the cat in and turn it round. But Keith managed it. On a sixpence, Keith. Everything nice and gentle. Beautifully done. We really enjoyed our time on the cat. It was great fun. In fact, one of the funny bits was the cat sang to us. Just listen to the wind in the background. was finding its way through the bright work on the deck and it sounded just like a flute or pan pipes playing in the background really quite soothing gone over to the dark side. He's now on the helm of a 4.1 Barley catamaran. Keith's there, Sid's there, Caroline's here. Liz, Liz and the newly named Rita Aura is there for a week on this Barley catamaran. Just leaving go so you're all going to ask, was I tempted by the dark side? The general answer is no. I really do like the performance that monohulls give and the variety at which they come in. Now that doesn't mean I didn't like the cat. It means that, well, this particular cat wasn't for me. But you never know.
And of course, once again, I have to thank Keith, Elizabeth and the dog Aura for letting us, well, interrupt their holiday. And of course, David and Caroline for organising everything. Thanks, guys. Okay. What a shame we can't afford to stay. This is the proposal we got from Seta Marinas to stay another year in uh, Finike. And the price was 85,000 Turkish lira. Let's put that in perspective for you. Last year, we bought a year's mooring so that we could get residency in Turkey and that cost us 23,479 Turkish Lira. This year, it's going to cost us 85,326 Turkish Lira or $4,587 for a 37 foot boat. That's an extra 61,846 Turkish Lira, an increase of 99.6%. That's $3,343 more for one year. So how can they afford to charge such exorbitant prices? Well, the reason's pretty plain. Russians used to keep their boats in the Mediterranean, but because of sanctions, they're not. Well, not in the European Union anyway, and Turkey isn't in the European Union, and therefore there's no sanctions on them. 
So they've all bought their boats to Turkey, which means that most of the Turkish marinas are now full of Russians, Ukrainians and of course Brits, who can't stay in Europe because of Brexit. Hey ho. And some of you will say, well, that's the way of the world. We think it's opportunism. We did ask Sitter for an explanation, but all we got was that it's inflation and the price is the price. With favourable winds, we headed across the Bay of Antalya to Alanya. be a set of steps down there somewhere oh I can see it to the right to the right hand side there's um, a set of steps that come down well there's a path imagine having to walk on sentry duty and you had to walk down there every day and you're back up the, again you're on the, lower level today, Fred. Yeah. the anchorage we were using was behind the huge headland which has a citadel on the top really quite spectacular And their pirate ships behind us. They always come out of the sun. Like the dirty red baron. Oh, a couple of boats anchored over there. Looks like we might be able to get in. Uh, it is bloody wobbly. Right, on the helm. My dirty decks. <laughs> dirty decks from all the muck that's in the air. Sahara dust blows all the way over here anyway so this is an interesting um, anchorage this is the other side of the citadel there's one two three four boats there were seven boats when we got here maybe get the drone out tomorrow and have a look there's the main town behind us looks like there's a few pirate boats in there It's like there's rain over the mountains behind us. Anyway, yes, so that's it. Uh, 78 miles between uh, 5.40 and what's the time now? 5.40 this morning and it's now 4 minutes to 6. So that's not bad going, is it? Can't moan at that. Right. Another 5 minutes. I think we'll crack open a, an arrival beer. Is it just me? Or is it hard to agree? With what you're trying to explain? I don't mind feather wings, no diamond rings. But that's not how you get to me. Sit in the shade, talk to late, and then we'll see. We can go for walks, stroll on the city park, and maybe, just maybe.
things I said I'd never do, this is probably number three. suspension may need a little looking at on this thing. The next day Ant decided to stay on the boat and do some editing so I along with the others went up to the top of the citadel. I wasn't overly impressed with the uh, citadel but the views were spectacular. You could see right down to the new marina that's been built in Alanya which some of the other people from Finica are going to this year. Call me a tiger Call me out, why don't you learn? Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you learn? When the scenery is right Go right in I want to fall deep within don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground My ways are mine and I don't wanna change Not even for love Now take back all them hard words I'm a grown woman With confidence and sense In the middle Meet me The next day, and the day before we left, we found one of the best museums that we've been to in Turkey so far, but more about that next week. Oh, and more about the marina that we found that's never been finished. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is down in the bottom left hand corner, and also the bell, so that you get notifications of all our upcoming videos. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We are now in our winter home. In fact, we're kind of settling in. Yeah. We're out shopping, <laughs> as you do. Until next time, guys, see you later. Bye. Sail safe.